Hello and welcome back to Camp Sue. Today we're going to do our weekly energy forecast. It's coming a day or so early than normal. So what I'd like you to do is pick pile one, pile two, pile three. You can pause um, to make a choice or you could, I'll have the timestamps listed below. Or you could just listen to all of them and garner whatever um, tidbits might be applicable to you in your situation. So these are Life Mastery Oracle cards that I've created. This is the prototype. I was going to do self-publishing, but I've decided to go um, in search of an agent with a traditional publishing. So it's going to be a little bit before you all see these cards. Um, where you're able to buy them. But in the meantime, please um, come and visit. I do feel these cards are actually missing some, um, missing some cards. So anyone who feels drawn, please drop me an email at susan um, at campsue at gmail.com, campsue for you at gmail.com. I'll also list that down below. Because um, I'd like to do some more um, card energy paintings to include in this deck. Um, this deck has been created uh, from all of my friends and clients who have um, had me paint their cards and do readings for them over the last couple of years. So I do want to um, ask anyone that's interested in becoming part of this deck, uh, maybe you're the missing link because the cards feel like they're missing something and I'm not quite sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All right, with that being said, uh, let's start with pile number one. What is your energy forecast for the week, pile one? I'm going to start with the bottom. I randomly selected these cards first, and this was the first card that came out. And the first card here is um, the shadow. Uh, what it is that is something that you might, might need to address that might be something that taps deep within your own heart and soul. So that's self-abandonment. And what that's, this card tells you is where are you not showing up for yourself? Where are you cutting corners and allowing someone else to manipulate and control your thoughts? By Maybe it's like some self-doubt. Maybe you're working on a project and someone's making you feel like, oh, you're not good enough. Or you're looking at somebody else. It feels like comparison to someone or something. Trying to fit in, but you're not being your true authentic self. So show up for yourself in the sense where doing some self-care. Um, taking time out, stepping back, taking some breathing, deep breaths. Meditation is awesome. If that's just too much for you to wrap your head around, just breathing and we all need to breathe. Get out in nature. Just anything to just step outside of the noise and feeling like you're under some kind of pressure. Some of you, it feels like the pressure is something that you're applying to yourself that it's like you, you're, you're the one that's creating something that's just not feeling comfortable. It's because it's a stretch outside, do something different, stretch outside of your, your typical boundaries. That's what this card feels like. All right, so that's the shadow. It's like how, making sure you show up for yourself. So this is the message from your higher self. Uh, so, you might have some emotions around this, feeling controlled and trapped and might be feeling some self-pity and bad for yourself or even ashamed of different things that you may be having memory recalls of the past. And that will happen as you start to awaken to your, your authenticity through your authentic self, your higher self. You'll start to have these memories and flashes of all this negative stuff. Well, that happens to everyone. Experience those emotions that you're feeling. It, it's okay to feel sadness, um, uneasiness. Um, just really address those and allow, because that's going to allow you to release that shame that you might be feeling about something. We all have those moments. None of us are perfect. It's just part of life and how we get through it. All right. So this here is the message from um, the master's beings of love and light, you know, all the good energy that we, we would perceive as good love. Typically the love energy, 
universal mind consciousness, however you would like to perceive it. Addiction to fear. So becoming afraid of something so truly deeply, and I'm going to speak from my own personal experience of something that I'm working on, like these cards. It was terrifying initially to even think I had the gumption that I could actually do something like this. So, um, you know, worrying about how someone was going to judge me, how I was going to be perceived and really t focusing so much on what other people thought and trying to do like the whole people pleasing thing. And it just ended up causing me to have a lot of anxiety and sadness. And, you know, it just felt like I was going down this spiral tunnel where I didn't have a grip. I didn't have control. So what the message here that's from your higher self and the masters, allow yourself, give you, cut yourself some slack. This here is also feeling like it could be tied to family. Every time I see trees, it's like a family tie. We can't, we don't pick our family. You know, it's, well, not really. There's another whole discussion we could have on that. But for the most part, the families that we do have are families that are here to give us an opportunity to learn something about ourselves and to maybe um, to even learn like the dysfunction that some of us had experienced um, within our own families. You know, those are learning steps and tools. And once you can kind of step back from that and take look at it from a different picture, Pull your emotions together and understand that everybody has this, like, you know, has a life. And we're all living it based on our experiences, how we feel at any one given time. Um, just based even on our, you know, stuff that's happened to us. And, you know, it's I'm feeling like here, it's like, oh, why, why, why me? And it feels like there's too much comparison going on be be proud of you and and shine and just do one little step at a time and just breathing and being present in the moment in the now seeing what you do have every single one of us has something that we can be grateful for so look at the most smallest smallest thing and show gratitude so that you can start to build that gratitude type energy and showing up for your life in, in the now moment and not getting too caught up with uh, drinking too much or, you know, maybe smoking too much weed or something. So it's just trying not to cover that, those emotions up, masking them. Find someone to talk to, um, to allow yourself to process what's happening. All right. The not, final card. Uh, so no one to pile one. This here is the base of the whole reading. I picked a third card. And it was about, I should have picked this one, showed this one first. But this here is um, like some really big, huge heartache. And being afraid to go forward, that you're not able to, um, I don't know. Like you've put everything, all of your eggs in one basket. That's my mother. And afraid to really um, experience, experience those emotions around the broken heart. People are going to be, all right, I hope I can say this right. All right. Sometimes when you are really sad and a really bad breakup or, you know, something devastating emotionally has happened, it breaks your heart so much that you just feel like you are the only, that nothing else exists. And you can turn into, you can turn to drinking, smoking, whatever, eating too much, shopping too much. There's so many too muches we could do when our heart is broken, trying to fill that void. The best advice, and it was the beginning, uh, now I understand why they're telling you to breathe and to experience the emotion, the pain, because it's real 
And there's always something that you can learn about yourself when you're going through a time like this. Um, and I was getting to the point where people will try to say, will say stuff to you that's just to kind of make themselves feel better because no one wants to see you suffering and in pain and they just want it to stop. So they're going to say and do things that are not helpful, but they think it's helpful because it's helpful for them. And I'm trying to think of an example. Oh, it's like the notorious one. Oh, don't cry. Why? Why not cry? Don't bottle up your emotions. They may not be the right ones for you to be releasing to. So maybe it's a good idea to um, ask first if, if they're open to hear you to just listen um, instead of just going with your, your baggage and you're dumping on them because they may not be ready for it either. They may be going through their own stuff and they just have enough to manage themselves even though they may appear to you like they're the strongest person on the planet. None of us really knows what another is going through just as no one really knows what you're experiencing. This is when I highly recommend when you're starting to feel so heavy talking to a professional or, or having a good friend that's like at the point where they're able to stop and listen and take time for you. So pile one, I'm really sorry you're going through such a tough time emotionally. Just it's it, it will pass. I'm going to give you one more card. All right. So let's see what one more energy card. We'll take this. It kind of felt like an introspection. So take time by yourself. I love this fairy card. I am having a clothing line designed um, with some of these images because I love them. And the dress that came with this image is absolutely beautiful. My storefront's not really open, but I will put a link down below just in case anyone wants to look at them. Um, okay, so take some time to reflect on what it is you really, really want. What are your dreams, your desires? What is your role in, the, in this broken heart? What is it that you can control um, with your emotions? No response is better than responding in a lot of time. A lot of time. Silence is often a, a wonderful, um, a wonderful response because when you speak at a time when you're really in a, in a bad mental state, it just sucks in all kinds of, um, bad feelings and memories and it just kind of pulls you down deeper and you feel like you got the weight of the world on your shoulders here it feels. So just take a step back, take some time for yourself. Feels like around the time of the full moon because this hair is pulling towards me and I think we got the full moon coming up next week. So just know this will pass. Next week will be better. Take some time for you to breathe, show up for yourself, give time to you eat healthy foods. I'm feeling some need to drink carrot juice. So drink some carrot juice. You can buy some really good stuff um, already juiced. It has a lot of vitamins. It's like A, C. It's like take some vitamins naturally through your foods. Okay, pile one. It's going to be okay. You're going to get better. And if any of you want to be part of um, my card project, feel drop feel free to drop me an email at susan uh, at camp sue for you at gmail.com. Okay, pile two. Let's see what we got going on for you. So I made a mistake. Well, not really a mistake, but I'm going to do this a little different. This was the final card that I had selected, and today I did four cards. So this is going to be pile two, the base of the whole reading. Ah, more trees, more family. So you're grounded in love, and, and this is the card where your door is always open. You know, we got the door, and there's so much love. You have so much love in your heart to give where you're able to generate it and create this. Pile two, you're a group of meditators, it feels like, and you're very um, homebound, earthy-type people with that earth energy. 
like the Taurus and I think Virgo. I don't know if I'm doing those earth signs properly, but that's what it kind of feels like. It's like you're deeply rooted and grounded in family. All right, so that's going to be the base. So let's see what's going on around this family. So the first card that I had um, randomly selected was stagnation. So you feel a little stuck. So this is the shadow. And the shadow of stagnation is doing the same old, same old. So like you just, it almost feels like you're given, 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 given. And you just, and you want something else. You want a little spice, a little action. Well, what I'm hearing is you are the one to make those choices. Because every choice you make leads you to some new path, new destination, new road, new hearts growing on the trees. It also feels like some people um, who have kids in college moving on, leaving, and you just, so now you've just been in like family mode. Some of you where kids are graduating from college or they're going into college. It's um, kind of like that empty nester syndrome, it kind of feels like. So hold on to your emotions, pile two. I know it's like a big change and a shift no matter what age a, a kid is and then they're graduating. You just I'm even seeing it with kids that I have in my life where they just grow and it's like, oh my God, where, where did the, those years go? So just hang on to your emotions. Family is always your family. They'll always be there because you gave them a good base. You gave them the good grounding and love. So now it's time for the birds to fly away. All right, so this is the message from your higher self. So you're making some false assumptions. Where are you assuming? You know what they say about that. Makes an ass out of you and me, right? It's also following the crowd. Feeling like you need to be something for someone else. It's like an in, in an echo chamber. So... All right, I'm going to use this example for card readers. Just my observation. Um, oftentimes, in the when you say on YouTube or even Instagram, wherever, you have a following, and then you know you start to um, people start to really feed your ego and fill it up, fill it up. Well, it kind of creates this illusion in your mind. So going back to the first thing here where you're feeling a little stuck, it's like being stuck in that echo chamber. There's an illusion, delusion. It's, you know, just going along, feeling that you're doing the right thing because you sound like everyone else. What this reading is feeling like, it's feeling like you need to step outside of where you are right now. Just what the path that you're on, you're kind of outgrowing it. And it kind of feels icky when you have people um, worshiping, even though some might get full of themselves from that. It's always really important to stay grounded to really remember why you were doing anything in this life. Like, why did you have kids? Why some of us, why are we even creating oracle cards or writing books or painting paintings? Oftentimes we make assumptions and some of them are false and it's just being open to that. And you might feel stuck because the assumptions that you've made in the past following a group think it's making it harder for you to step out. So just be mindful of assumptions. Um, like wondering what someone thinks. You're never going to know what someone thinks. It's just not going to happen. Speculation. Even like card reading, speculation. Um, and it can be entertaining. It can be fun. So just keep things in perspective and start to wonder... What can you do to, to stretch, to shift things up, to move out of feeling like you're being um, controlled, puppet master? Interesting, the first pile had 
a control card too. All right. So let's see. This here is the message from masters, guides, beings of love and light. So what they're saying is to follow your higher self's guidance, to really be mindful and aware of where you are creating your own issues, where you're making yourself get stuck within um, whatever area of your life you're feeling stuck. Could be within relationships, families, a project, a group of friends. We outgrow people and it's okay to outgrow folks because when you like, uh, uh, and this here would go for pile one. If anyone from pile one is listening to this, there's a quote, I think it, it's a philosopher and I can't remember the name of the philosopher, but every sad ending has a happy new beginning. So even in this sense, so something that you might be cutting off, leaving, walking away from, it, it's divinely timed and it's for your own highest good where when you change something, you open up room for something else. It's like cleaning out your closet and getting rid of anything that's that you don't use anymore because it's just taking up valuable real estate, cleaning up clutter. It almost feels like start to clean up some clutter, get rid of all that winter. If anyone hasn't done their spring type cleaning, now's the time to go through the closets, get rid of things, donate stuff, um, cause that's gonna be good for your karma. But it's also a good way to shift and allow your, your being to know that it's time to clean out the clutter. All right, we're going to do one extra card just to see how, you know, what, what extra message does the universe have for pile number two? We're going to take this one. Okay, so you got false assumptions and false hopes. And I say this, did I say put all your eggs in one basket? Sometimes we put all of our hope into something. It's, and it can cause us to have, make false assumptions. And then when something doesn't happen, say you get rejected in some way, you feel like the world is crashing in around you. Be mindful of putting your hopes outside of you to someone else. Really focus on you, your higher self, your gifts, your talents, because every one of us is special and unique in our own way. And the fun of all of this stuff that we go through in life is figuring it out. So with that pile to hang on, keep your emotions together. Okay. Um, it's good to have hope, but don't hang everything on the hope. It's like you almost feel stuck because you're hoping. I hope this, I hope that. Hope isn't a plan. So create a plan so that you're able to move through more easily and climb that ladder of whatever it is you wish to do. All right. Well, this week you'll be all right. Just hold on to your emotions. That seems to be the, the theme this week. All right. So pile three. We got your four cards. So the four, first card is um, the theme of this week. What we got going on. Oh, compassionate love. All right, so there's somebody around you that needs some loving. Not like loving, loving. I'm talking like they might be having a hard time. Maybe it's someone in pile one or pile two. But you need to be there for them. But don't, but to be a listener not to offer advice to make yourself feel better, to make them stop. So just be really compassionate and mindful of another who's going through a tough time. All right, so let's see the shadow for us this week. What's the thing we have to deal with? Ah, oh, power and potential. Man, we're riding a wave pile three. We're just like, you know, everything is just, all the, the chaos is down here and we are just sailing, riding high. Take that energy and use it. It's, um, it needs some compassion, not all just business, 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 because that's where um, you can come off as being a little bit uh, hard and cold and callous, and you don't mean to be. It's just that you're going, going, going. You're like on a roll. 
just bring some compassion into that because not everybody is feeling that right now. All right. So here's the message from the higher self. Oh, you got so much confidence. Look at all this water. Boy, if you're in a creative um, endeavor, you're just really going to start to flow. Words are going to start to come. You're going to really see that you've got so much more confidence where you're able to achieve anything. And you've got like so much compassion for yourself because it really starts with you, you know? Like when we can feel some compassionate love for ourselves, try not to judge and, um, and really show up and to be present. It gives us the opportunity to say, yeah, I feel good about myself. Yeah, I can do this. So ace is pile three. Oh, I think I picked pile three. All right. So um, let's see what the message is from the masters, beings of love and light. All right. This is the Mother Mary card. And I know I put empathy on this, but I think I'm calling this the gratitude card. By showing some gratitude for what you do have, it gives you an opportunity to generate and call more of that in. And I think pile one or pile two, I did mention some gratitude is needed. Being grateful for, that was pile one. Being grateful for what you do have. So here, just have some gratitude and grace. Like be great grateful and, and, um, humble where something really spectacular is happening, but someone else isn't in a right place to hear how awesome things are going for you because they may start to judge themselves or try to compare. And we just, oftentimes we can't help but to try to compare. So pile three, do your best to hold Hold the light for someone else who's walking their path that's having a little bit of a challenge. <clears throat> it's your roll pile three this week to help somebody. All right. So oh, so I wanted to pick one final card, and this one flew out and nearly fell on the floor. The ego. So watch your ego and, um, and, you know, you get the heart. So if you can breathe into your heart. They have a meditation about a heart-based meditation where you breathe love light into your heart. That's what I'm feeling with this card because sometimes that's the best way you can help somebody else is to keep your energy high and positive and just to kind of hold the space for someone going through a storm. Even though you're going to want to try to make them stop uh, do your best to be mindful and allow them to experience whatever it is that they got to go through and hold and hold the light, hold that, hold your love light from within because things change even like the good times. I don't mean to sound like Debbie Downer. And if your name is Debbie, I apologize, but you know, your good times don't always last. So Hang on to those and ride that perfect wave. And the best bad times or the not so good times, those don't last either. You know, you're going to catch another wave. So if you've gotten, if someone's gotten a rejection or, and they're coming to you for some guidance, just hold the light, hold that space. Thank you, Pile 3. We'll see you again next week.